Hi, welcome to Free Free Academic English. I'm Geraldine, and today we continue talking about TOEFL and IELTS. We already looked at the reading part and the listening part in both TOEFL and IELTS. And then we have the uh, speaking part in TOEFL and the writing part in IELTS. You know that in IELTS, the speaking part takes place on a different day, usually on a different day, so it's not with the rest of the exam. Similarities. Well, there are similarities because you have to speak English for an amount of time and you are required advice to use um, academic English, formal English. Also, uh, you are expected to paraphrase the question, especially, of course, because that's what they give you, a prompt. And well, in general, what they ask from you, it's the generalities of the language to use good grammar, to have a, a, a flow in your speech, um, to answer the question. I would say, personally, that TOEFL wants you to be a little bit more organized and uh, IELTS wants you to paraphrase more and to give some more relevant ideas when talking about more abstract topics because that's what, that's what they say in the rubrics. Okay, differences. Differences many. First, for IELTS, you will have to go to the exam center just for the speaking exam. On that day, they will ask for your fingerprints, take your picture, make you wait for the interview that will last about no more than 15 minutes. And this interview is, well, an interview means that you have to talk to somebody and that person will generally speak uh, British English uh, or English with a British accent, generally, not always. And then this exam is very well structured. It has three parts in IELTS. If we talk about TOEFL, the speaking part takes place after a 10 minute break. When you take the TOEFL, you get reading, listening, more than two hours doing that. And then you have a 10 minute break. When you come back from that break, then you start with the speaking exam. The speaking exam takes about 20 minutes, so it's not as long either. But it's not an interview. You will have six questions. And in these six questions, you will have to record your answer into a computer and the time is set. You have from 45 seconds to one minute to answer, to deliver your answer. In IELTS, the time is not set. They're only on the second part, they tell you that you have one to two minutes, but really you're expected to talk, to talk for more than two minutes and they will stop you. You don't really need to worry about the time. In TOEFL, you do need to worry about the time a little bit more. Also, uh, for the preparation time. In TOEFL, you have preparation time, time from 15 to 30 seconds, depending on the question. In IELTS, there are three parts. The first part is like the easy part, again, and it's, um, and it's more like a nice breaker where the interviewer uh, will ask you about your likes or dislikes, what you do for a living, how do you like that, what your neighborhood is like, etc. That sort of thing. Again, they, are, they expect you to answer paraphrasing and with a good use of English, complete answers, complete sentences and details. In TOEFL, the first two questions are called independent questions. They will give you a question and expect you to prepare for 15 seconds and answer it in 45 seconds. They are uh, independent because you have to give your own idea and nothing about uh, what they say because in TOEFL, the next parts are called integrated because they will give you a topic and information. In IELTS, part two and three are related and uh, in part two, they will give you a topic and ask you to, to talk about that topic. And that will usually be some kind of experience uh, that you had on a topic, on a particular topic, let's say on tourism, on movies, on food, uh, something that happened to you. Uh, they give you one minute and a piece of paper and pencil for you to take notes uh, during that preparation minute and then you talk for one to two minutes. And then the third part of IELTS is, let's say, the hardest um, because they continue, uh, they smoothly move 
from let's say they ask you about movies they continue talking about movies but maybe about movies in the world and the differences between the movies in different kinds of countries and the questions will become more abstract and here you are supposed to uh, continue paraphrasing but to also you're expected to give more complete answers uh, um, argumentative answers to give reasons to provide more examples to give a longer answer than you did on the first part. In TOEFL, uh, from questions three to six, the questions are integrated. What is this? Three and four are integrated because they give you a reading piece and an audio. The reading piece is going to be first, uh, not an announcement. They'll have an announcement and then an audio about two students discussing this announcement. After that, you will have 30 seconds to prepare your response and one minute to give your answer. The question is going to be about one of the students agreeing or disagreeing. Oh, this is an integrated response because you have to say in your own words uh, what you heard in the audio based on what you read on the, um, on the reading part. Uh, the, fourth, the fourth question is similar, only that there's no conversation this time, but the reading thing is going to tell you uh, definition of some academic thing and then the audio is going to give you a lecture exemplifying that academic uh, reading that you had just read like for 45 seconds again you will have 30 seconds to prepare your response and one minute to answer saying how what you heard exemplifies what you read so these are integrated tasks um, regarding reading and listening and the fifth and sixth question on TOEFL only uh, involve listening and speaking. They are also called integrated tasks. In task five, you will hear a conversation between probably two students and one of them has a problem. The other provides with some possibility, possible solutions and then you have 20 seconds to prepare your response and one minute to answer what the problem of the student was, or why, what, what, um, what solution would you give and why? In which you have to say your opinion on what you just heard. And finally, the sixth task is a lecture again, in which a professor talks about any subject that can be from, you know, from psychology to engineering. And uh, again, you have to take notes. You can take notes throughout the whole speaking part, by the way. And you have to take notes and at the end they are going to ask you to summarize everything the professor said in the lecture. Again, you will have 20 seconds to prepare and 60 seconds to give your answer. And that's the end of the speaking test. And when I say you have uh, 15 seconds and 45 seconds, you see the screen telling you now you're preparing, now it's recording. So you don't say I'm recording now or you don't get second chances or anything. The program just continues and you have to go with it. So again, if you get lost on a question or in the middle of a question, just continue talking just or start over if you want. You're not going to get a second chance, so just let it go. You have to, to learn how to let it go. And those were the similarities and differences between TOEFL and IELTS. Now, some people feel more confident talking to a person and some people feel more confident talking to a computer. How do you feel more comfortable? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching. Subscribe and see you soon.